Three. There are countries in the world where agriculture is a big sector. One such country is Brazil. That's the largest country in the Latin American geography. And what I read today is very interesting because Brazil is supposed to be one of the world's 10 most equal societies and it is largely in a big agrarian economy. Agrarian economy is now not getting due attention because of various developments and factors, wars, other disturbances, civil society issues are all there. So we don't get reports anything on agricultural, agrarian issues. What is the status of Indian agriculture? Here I want to point after reading the Brazil agrarian sector that India doesn't yet have a developed agriculture in the sense there are no big agrarian companies like paper, pulp, other agriculture primary commodities processing sectors. What's happening in Brazil is there are political movements to go and occupy, invade the uncultivated lands, agricultural lands. There is a famous, well respected leader, popular leader in Brazil, where Lulu, Lula, and There is a landless workers movement known as MST and this group has left wing Lula, Lula, Lula da Silva is the leader and he is a very popular leader but the point is they are going and occupying these uncultivated lands and want to distribute them without much violence but much violence is now occurring everywhere, wherever there are rural issues, rural factors, including in Africa, many countries have this rural unrest. One great defect of the rural movements is there is no internationally agreed pattern of development of the agricultural lands. There are now issues like climate change that is affecting agriculture and there are issues like supplying food to the food deficit countries. The recent rural, sorry, the recent Ukrainian war has brought to the light how world is dependent on some countries known for the agricultural surplus production. So we have to have an international rule and system thereby food is distributed in an equitable way. Even in India, which is supposed to be an agriculture surplus land, we are promising in our elections free food, distribution of free essential items of consumption. This, how, how this can go on if the market-based production practices in agriculture is not, are not encouraged. My point here is we have to have new reforms in agriculture on a cooperative basis so that farmers feel they have a stake in what they produce, what they sell in the market. Unfortunately, till now, we have not thought about this cooperative ownership of farmers so that they have a stake in what they produce, what they sell. What happens is now once the surplus production comes, prices fall and farmers are left to their own device. So this is a very short term unsatisfactory situation which persists and this should be changed and we have to think about large agricultural reform on a cooperative basis. Thank you.